guys welcome back to my channel so today it's going to be a closet tour i just wanted to give you guys a brief tour of my tiny tiny closet i try to research some i guess guidelines of how to do closet tour and i just search random closet tours on youtube and they were all like very expensive rich people's walk-in closets which is like twice the size of my entire apartment so <laughs> I was like, okay, mine is like a tiny, you can't even call it like a walk-in closet even though it's, it is kind of technically Yeah, it's gonna be a very average, normal, overflowing closet tour ever So as some of you might know, I'm renting an apartment with two bed, two bathroom and we are renting out one of the rooms to our housemates Me, my husband and my baby are just living in this tiny room I mean, we have a living room of course, but you know So technically, it's kind of like one bedroom So we have a really tiny walk-in closet and I have to show Share with my husband and my baby well without further ado without me talking too much let's get into it so when we were moving from Michigan to Los Angeles we knew that our apartment would be small and we wouldn't have enough space for like extra drawers or something like that so we bought this bed which has drawers underneath so these two ones I use it on the left it's more like my underwear and everything so I'm not gonna really show it but this one I want to show you guys Oh, so this section, the far right section is more like long sleeve shirts and this one's more like short sleeve So these are turtleneck shirts and you know all that but the look at this. Oh my gosh I had like I bought this like two years ago or something like that when this was more popular So this section I just wanted to show you some of the long sleeve ones This one I've had it for like three three years I think I bought it from a thrift store in Grand Rapids and I'm not from Chicago or anything that but I just like the color and the design so and I cropped it to make it more like I don't know just vintage chic style I bought this from Crossroads vintage store a uh, thrift store and it was like $15 but it, it had a tag and it was new so I like it it's very stretchy and comfortable so you can also wear it as like pajama but I mean it's it's cute so I style this sometimes and wear it it's very like baggy style and then the other one is this orange one i bought this from paxson and it was like a deal for three long sleeves for 30 dollars. so it was a nice deal and then the other section is like short sleeve shirts and this is like a vintage a thrifted shirt my friend actually thrifted it and gave it to me and i like it the color is super cute and there's some other stuff which was gifted by a brand or i modeled in it and i got it gift some pajama shirts in here oh this one i actually want to show you this one is from the brand called broken promises the design is so cool i like it and i love the tie-dye because it's so in style too okay and this one is one of the long sleeves i have kind of see-through uh, but if you wear like a nude like your skin color bra underneath it doesn't really show but the sleeve is like a bell-shaped sleeve so i like it it's very versatile because it's like neutral color lastly that's this section is like turtleneck tops so different colors this one is classic i bought this from h&m for i think 12 dollars a little bit pricey for uh, my budget but the quality is okay and i needed the neutral like fitting turtleneck top for me so bought this one there's like several black ones which is classic yeah this one is actually from uniqlo and it's a heat tech version and it's super lightweight and very stretchy and so comfortable it fits my body perfectly and i think it's a good buy okay so this one, I'm not gonna really show you guys what's in it. I'll show you some of the items I have here because I have some tank tops which I like. So this top is from Zumito Official. Her brand is super unique and nice and a lot of like K-pop idol girl groups wore her clothes too but this is from one of them. And I love it. It's super nice quality and like super stretchy and it's like nice summer neutral top. The other one is this. So this is like a cardigan I made from a like kind of like overstretched thrifted turtleneck top like pink one and and it was kind of long and big on me it was not really flattering on my body so i cut the turtleneck top part and then i you know like cut it in the middle and sewed it and the bottom like section i made it into tube top so this is how it looks like i made a tiktok video out of this actually super just like casual early 2000 vibe 90s vibe all these it's very girly usually i'm not very girly style but i can vibe in it let's go on to the next section okay so oh i want to show you this corner too this is a little corner of mine i have so many sunglasses so i had to like come up with an idea and i think i have like total of like 30 to 40 sunglasses 
<laughs> but these are a lot of, you know, like I love the 90s sunglasses. I think I'm gonna start collecting more of two early 2000 vibe sunglasses too. And yeah, I've been wearing sunglasses for like really long time, four or five years. And these are also, I bought these like organizers uh, one or two years ago. Oh, June drew on here, of course. But these are obviously not enough. <laughs> I have like some of the older ones, the aviator ones. Not really trendy right now, but I feel like the trend comes back. Ooh, the mirror reflecting ones were so trendy for a while. Oh my god, look at these red ones. It's crazy. Look at this one. Hi. Where is it from? Oh, uh, I think Zero UV. So a lot of these are, most of them are from Zero UV. Uh, they were sponsoring me with free sunglasses, but I get to choose them, so I like the the quality is okay, it's super cheap, like $10, $15, so for the price, I think if you want a variety of sunglasses, it's good. And also these days, I've been uh, getting sunglasses from Release.co. I'll add all the links in the description box below. They actually have selection of like that stock vintage, like real vintage high-end brand sunglasses. Some of the ones I got from them are the, these ones. <sighs> They have like really cute sunglasses and very trendy and up to date and most of them are kind of like early 2005 sunglasses so they love that kind but they also have like chic ones like what I love so that's good and this is like a mini accessory section it's kind of crazy I have like a lot of chains here plastic chains and all these this one is choker necklace I made from a belt and these ones I bought it from like eBay and like other jewelry stores so and I made like a chain and a bag chain whatever I have a DIY video of it, so I'll put the link. And I have a lot of like Majuri earrings too. These are so cute and very classic. They're all like real, so 60 to 70 dollars, but I got them through sponsorship. So I did get sponsored, but I love their quality and it's very classy. You can wear it to anywhere. This whole drawer is for my DIY, so the top section is. I tried to organize it, I did. Uh -huh. But yeah, you know, the threads and the patches, this whole thing, this whole section is like patches. Um, and like uh, the embroidery threads and random <laughs> hammer and whatever. So like tie-dye stuff. I mean, I might tie-dye my baby's shirt soon. Okay, moving on to the first clothing rack clothing rag i got it from target and it was like 21 dollars then i think i like the quality of it i think among all the three clothing racks this is the best one for the price i think this extra section you can kind of like put it in back out or something like that you can hold like it holds like a lot of bags as you can see <laughs> that section and this section i try to hang all my bags here so it's like a tote bag but this is my recent, one of my recent DIYs I did. I just added this like acrylic chain to it. So it has more like a, I don't know, it just upgrades the entire look. This one is very 2000 vibe and I, this kind of bag is like so in style right now. So this one I thrifted for like $6. The leather is super nice, like sturdy. This one is very extra. It's super cute, tiny. You can barely put like my camera in it or something like that. Got this for like $15, $16 at a thrift store in Canada. Um, a lot of these are like just like interesting looking ones. This one is... I have one more over there. I got it because I wanted to do like a matching look with my baby. And I have some fanny pack. This one is like a fake supreme one. Okay, so moving on to the first clothing rack, finally. So this is mostly coat section. So more like fall, winter-ish vibe. Like not really winter, winter, because California winter is different. But there are like long coats here mostly. And then some of like jumpsuits in here and a little bit padded coats and all that. Oop, don't fall. One of my favorite long coat is this statement piece black. Yeah, it's super shiny. I got this from Goodwill randomly and it was like $10, I think. And I think it's a really good buy. Um, it fits me well and I like it. It's cute. I'll show you a picture of how I styled it previously. Okay, one of the classic ones. Yeah, this black coat. Thrifted this. Well, it was like super cheap. Not like definitely not $10 or anything. It was super cheap. <laughs> Nice. Some things sound weird. I like the shoulder pads, very like power shoulder. Yeah, I think it would be perfect for like 
California winter, even though I think not cold at all still. So I don't really wear that much thick coats. But this one is a dark brown. I got it from Goodwill for like $2 literally. And this one is a trench coat. And it's in super nice condition, size 6. So it's like nice, you know, like a little bit oversized on me. Yeah, perfect for fall. It's a classic one. I feel like you should have it in your closet. A lot of these are thrifted and like this red one. I don't know why I have two of these already. But I might, I don't know, maybe DIY it. But red is not my color these days. But I don't want to throw it away at the same time. So I just keep it here. More back section. Moving on to next one. Clothing rack. I got it from Ikea. It's $10. So for the price, it's okay. But if you have a lot of clothes, I recommend the Target one. I Target one is better. I have mostly blazers and like denim jackets as you can see. Oh, there's so many. Look at this. Like I've mentioned that I have so many denim jackets. Some of you might have been like, you don't have that many. But girl, look at this. Like I thrifted so many. Like whenever I see a denim jacket in thrift store, I'm like, ooh, that's a steal. I need to get it. So I get it. But I end up just like DIYing a lot of them. Some of these, I, I got it from my friend, especially this one. It's like so, so ripped and it's very 2010 vibe, which I don't like at the moment. It might come back, which it might be way later. But yeah, so this one, I don't know. I might DIY it. I'm trying to think of what to do because it does not have enough fabric on it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still keeping it. I mean, whatever. We'll see. And this one is a little bit ripped too, but it's like less crazier. And this one I can't. This one's okay. I got it from this brand called Dr. Denim, and they actually like sent me some to style it. And I styled it for like when I got this when I was pregnant, so like three years ago. Yeah, but the quality is super nice. It's the most recent D DIY denim I made is this one, the Louis Vuitton one. A lot of people like the picture with my baby, but the Video view is not really great, but... <laughs> Ugh. Anyways, but yeah, I spent a lot of time on it. I love the result. I can't wait to wear it outside after quarantine's over. Ooh, there's like a denim quality but different color jacket too. Actually, DIY this. I cut this in the middle and then like sewed it again, so it's more like a distressed look in the middle. A little bit more fun to it. But I, I got this um, express bus terminal, uh, which is in Korea. It's like a like a underground mall kind of thing where they sell like super cheap clothes like trendy ones in korea so but i got this jacket for three dollars like less than three dollars it was like some chon won but yeah it's a really nice deal and i love the color and yeah look at this fun detail I'm satisfied with the look <sighs> A lot of blazers. I announced that I might do a blazer giveaway, but quarantine happened, so I didn't know how people felt about like getting clothes from other people. So we're gonna kind of postpone it, maybe. But it's summer, and I don't know if anyone's interested in blazers anymore. But there's a lot of blazers here. I all thrifted most of them. This is more like a coat. Yeah, it's a coat. But I don't know why it's here. <laughs> it's a nice classic coat. It's like like they call nice quality. Thrifted for two dollars. And I actually got it during this video of like $10 outfit challenge with my friend. The link in the description box below. But yes, look at this. Super nice, classic. Um, what else? Oh, this one I featured in my recent um, DIY haul video. Uh, I just like wrote letters on it. It just gives more fun vibe to it. I miss thrifting! <laughs> yeah, I like the classic gray one. This one is green. And classic fall color one. Yeah, Ooh, this one is a silky top. I thrifted it for like seven dollars, and it was at a Goodwill store. Look at this quality; it's super nice. I like this like satin material leather jacket. This one is from Uniqlo. I, it was like a men's size medium, so my husband wears it a lot. I wear it sometimes too as an oversized one. It's like a little bit thicker quality, so my husband, you wear it a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a classic piece. Then I got this one from my friend and it's more like new woman size so it fits me more perfectly like more to my body and it's a little bit lightweight like thinner Okay, ooh! For the leather jacket Look at this cute one <laughs> Oh, it's a Harley Davidson <laughs> more, I think it's a real one, not even a fake one I got it for like $15 a long time ago when my baby was just born and it's like for 24 months But it's so thick that like June hates wearing it he's like I can't move, so and it's like summer, so I don't. I guess like if you have a separate room for it, maybe I'll just hang it in the wall. I don't know. I just don't. Hang it on the wall. Are we hardly <laughs> famous fans? What's going on? But it's so cute. <laughs> I need a motorcycle. Baby motorcycle, fine. <laughs> okay, moving on. 
to another clothing rack. This one, this clothing rack, I got it from Amazon.com. It was like $25 or something like that. Um, this one's okay, but I'd rather buy the Target one next time. This one also has wheels. So the reason why I put it like this is that if I want something else from inside, I can kind of pull it so that we have more space. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> first world problems. Okay. So this section, I just like I try to organize it, but a lot of these are just tank tops. This one I DIY'd it long time ago. It's a Nike. It was just like a Nike Nike jersey shirt, but I made it into like a top tank top. So I just put all the skirts together because I barely have it. And these are for like skirts and pants um hangers. I bought it from Amazon. And yeah, just like classic pieces here and uh this looks like a what is this school uniform and more tank tops more tank tops i didn't mention it this whole clothing rack is pants oh this one is one of my most recent diy pants i did it took me forever and i'm so proud of it uh it didn't go like people didn't like it that much so i was kind of sad but i think because it's like they didn't see the detail yet no <laughs> but look at this like so many pockets on the side i got these from like other pants Ooh, I tie dyed it and like spray painted on it and added the pockets, you know, all these hard work. So one of my favorite, favorite pins. Oh, this was, I thrifted this like four years ago. It's like classic checker pattern pins and it's kind of like mom jeans fit, high waisted and I love it. Um, so versatile. You can wear it to work or like church event or any, any kind of like brunch with your friends. Some jeans are hanging over here. Oh, this one, uh, I might style this. Maybe today I'll like take a picture of it. But this one is, so this is like a uh, uh, thrifted pants and then DIY with my housemate. She's a per like really uh, talented artist and we just did like a cacao top emoji uh, mm. <laughs> pattern. And I showed this on one of my DIY haul video and it's super cute. So maybe I'll style it. I don't know. Yeah, I bought this hanger from Amazon. It's nice, but it's still very bulky when I hang everything. So there's like a storage unit thingy. I put most of my sweatpants here. Um, maybe like leggings, sweatpants, and most of these are ooh, not really organized, but um, you know, like a classic one. It's like a Nike. I actually bought this from boys section at Salvation Army for like one dollar, and I bought the large one so it fits me. My husband's like laughing at me. Why are you laughing? This is how you live, okay? <laughs> when you're cheap and poor, okay? <laughs> so okay, finally into the small tiny closet ever. You can kind of call it as walk-in closet, but not really. And it's like, like you walk in, one, two, that's it. What do you mean walk-in closet? Anyways, so this section <laughs> designated for my husband. <laughs> and that's it. Only this section. And this little section is my baby section. Look at this Louis Vuitton one. The mesh jackets and all that. And then a little bit more section to inside here. Um, more like winter stuff. So this one, I got this um, organizing unit thingy, I guess, from Amazon. I store like mostly jeans or pants in here, like colored denim stuff. And then this is more like jeans. Okay, the first section of this section is more like streetwear bags, like small bags here. Yeah, just like very interesting looking, <laughs> fluffy, like early 2005 one. <laughs> Be mine. I think I'm gonna just style it maybe for my early 2000s inspired lookbook or something like that. There's like a lot of harness over here. This is like a harness slash bag. Yeah, I'll show you a picture of how I style it for my soul fashion week. And then this one is like a collection of scarves. This pattern bandana is in style. A lot of people are wearing bandana like on top like early 2000 style so i'm glad i kept it and this one carol basket <laughs> yeah it's a animal print scarf i had it for a long time and then there's like a lot of belts i had way more belts back in michigan but i had to like throw them away because i had to move here but i'm looking for a better way to store these all of these are thrifted and like a thick belt thinner belt and this was more like expensive size 14 dollars but super cute leather one and this is more like street style like you know these a lot of people are like wow i didn't think that this would come back these are like my middle school year belt <laughs> but it's still here staying for a long time so i kept them and i have some like satin 
in pajama pants where I kind of styled it before but this one's kind of stained so I might like DIY something out of it like thrift flip look at this pattern oh my god I got this it was actually expensive I wore the heck out of it maybe like e-boy e-girl trying to still going on so they can I can wear this but okay oh god the true tiger king <laughs> I got this from Canada, like Venti store for $45 Canadian dollar. My friend actually bought it for me because she was like, I think it fits you perfectly, you should buy it. Super crazy, it's very extra. Look at this. Oh my god, looks like a tiger. Oh, I styled it in one of my photos. So this section is more of like hoodies and sweatshirts and everything. And some sweaters here I don't really wear, but one of my expenses. Hoodie. It's Stussy one. It was literally $100. I don't know why I bought it. I was pregnant and I was like super cold. So you know what? I'm just gonna buy it. Yeah, it's a classic one. I like the color. It's still in super nice quality. Oh my gosh, this one is cute but it's kind of scary at the same time. <laughs> but, <laughs> the brand is called Broken Promises. Kind of like dark theme t-shirts and hoodies. This one I thrifted for like one dollar, and it's like we need a poo bear, and it's so classy and cute, like the color and everything. Good quality. I can't believe I bought this for one dollar. Oh, one of my DIYs. Uh, it was like an awkward length like sweatshirt, and I put like a Nike logo on it and more like embroidery here. Even though I don't hoard anything else, I hoard a lot of clothes because I see the potential in the future of DIY. So, but every now and then I try to kind of clean it out and then like throw them away. Oh my god, it was a long ass journey through my closet. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching all this mini adventure through my tiny closet. I'm um, sorry that it was not like a fancy closet tour like the other big YouTubers who can afford big closets but mine is tiny and more realistic I feel like and yeah I just show you guys how I managed to organize all this clothes this was one of the most requested videos so hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you guys want to see other videos or like any kind of ideas in the comment section down below and if you guys enjoyed it please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you guys in my next video bye